So, right. um, let's see. Oh. oh yeah, I got some sassafras stuff because you know, they're bright and they're happy. Um, I have never had the blossoms. Actually, Christina Werner totally inspired this because she uses these so well. So look how cute. One of the buttons fell off, but that's my fault because I've been throwing it around in my bag. Um, and then look at these felties. So cute. Plus, the name felty is just an endlessly adorable as it is. And look how cool they are. And then I also bought this really cool stamp set, mostly because it has a piano at the bottom and I'm a musician. Um, but I will have to tell you, um, the Sassafras has Swiss switched to the vinyl um, silicone stamp away from the photopolymer. So you're not going to get as clear of an image. I still got it because I, I really loved the image. But just as a warning to you guys, they, they, I don't know when the switch happened, but the switch happened. Like, Oh My Dear, for example, was definitely photopolymer. You guys know I used that set till, no, until yeah. I beat it with a stick, you know. And uh, this one is not. That's right. And you know, just in case, if you don't know, you can always check to see where a stamp set is made. Yeah. To know what kind of um, material you're getting. Made so. in the USA, you're pretty much guaranteed photopolymer. Made anywhere else, start to worry. Yeah. Um, also, if it's perfectly clear, start to worry. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, that's going to be uh, vinyl mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. acrylic or... Etc. Or if it doesn't say photopolymer, usually people, when you do a photopolymer stamp, they'll advertise that it is. So this yeah. just says clear. So that's just a little tip for you guys to know. Um, and then just know when you buy this set that like chalk ink or pigment ink is going to be better. It's going to cover the whole thing. Um, and it's going to stamp better because that's it's right. just going to, other inks are just going to be on it. They're not meant to carry ink. Uh, not like photopolymer. That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is that all of our stuff from Super Show? I think think so. Well, okay. actually, this is, um, I know what I had, uh, the Paper Crafts ladies, Yay. who, by the way, are, like, the nicest people. That's right. We love uh, them. Yeah. They're so sweet. Well, I bought this t-shirt, and just in case you can't read what it says, it says, um, now, uh, not now, honey, I'm reading my Paper Crafts, and we just, so it's really cute. So, um, they were doing this at the booth, and they had a bunch of pins, Yay, too. Yay, cool pins. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking about putting these up in my letterbox in my craft room. Like, yeah, oh, that'd be cute. And then they also had the stamp it issue there, and we're both in there, so we were pretty Yay. excited. We were kind of dorking out about it, but we, we were pretty excited. Yeah, so. we were. Um, Let's yeah. move on to this book. Yes, this okay. Is, we're going to move on to stuff that's trade show related. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the trade show is different. You can't buy stuff at the trade show, right. which actually is kind of like torture because you're looking at amazing product that you want <laughs> right then and there. It is torture. And it, yeah, <laughs> and you can't have it. Um, and right. you know you have to wait until February, March, sometimes even April to see some of this product. But um, this book, um, Elizabeth Karchner, if you guys don't know, she also goes by Dear Lizzie. Um, that's like her Twitter is Dear Lizzie. She is probably like the sweetest, most beautiful person on the planet. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at her. Look, she's gorgeous. So this is her book, 52 More Scrapbooking challenges. And actually, I don't scrapbook. I, I've never made a scrapbook page. I know it's weird. <laughs> um, one day it's going to happen, but I mean, this book is gorgeous. I mean, just because even if you're not a scrapbooker, this is inspiration for cards, too. That's right. And she was signing the books. I'm going to put it really close. Hopefully it's not too blurry. But she actually signed it. She talked to us for a really long time. Yeah. She was so she sweet. She had this awesome outfit on. I'm oh my you. gosh, she was amazing. The her girl shoes, style. Yeah, they were insane. And um, she's just super cute. And she's yep. also her dear Lizzie American Cast line is, it's wow, so good. wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. You have to look it up. When it and comes that's to coming out in April. Was it April? Mm. I don't know, <laughs> but it will when it's Just out. Just Google search that. Yeah, Google that. Um, um, you can at Dear Lizzie on Twitter and ask her. Um, but the line you you need to have it. It's yeah, actually it's, really it's amazing. <laughs> so that's Dear. Li this is a 52 more scrapbooking challenges. It was put out by Creating Keepsakes. True. So. Okay, and we also thought we would pick. We have tons of catalogs. Like, yeah, look at this. Look at this pile. Catalogs, catalogs, catalogs. All of this. So we thought we would just pick a couple that we thought were really great. Um, yeah. This is the Pink Paisley catalog. I mean, not only is it beautiful, but they had some really fantastic stuff, like already pleated ribbon, people. Yeah. Uh, for <laughs> someone who doesn't, like, it's kind of like I'm starting to get better with the ribbon. The already pleated ribbon was extremely so exciting. Yeah. Um, for me, I was really impressed with the Coordinations book. And their booth too. Um, you know they're coming out with lines that match Cosmo Cricket, Jelly Bean Soup, and Jenny Bolin. Pretty much any Amazing. style that yep. you might like. Okay, this is what's cool about their catalog. They don't mess around here because they have their catalog, etc. You know, pages. Here's the sample right here, the paper. You can feel it. The other thing we learned, I wrote it down for you guys. Coordinations. They recommend 120 to 150 grit. 
when you're sanding the coordinations. So I mean, obviously you got to try out what you like, etc. But that's what they told me at the booth. Um, I heard a little uh, sneak that uh, they they may one day have their own sander. So it might be nice. Look at that. You said Mar that's Earth Love right there, guys. So if that's something you want, you might want to email them. Yeah, I would email them. Oh, and by the way, glitter paper that's not totally over the top. And They're not, it out. doesn't come off. It on doesn't you come at off. All. Nothing. It's really cool. Yeah. So coordinations, nice yeah. people. Very cool. Okay, my um, next favorite was a brand I absolutely adore, and that is uh, October Afternoon. Look how cute that is. Um, you know, all know that I used to have a paper. <laughs> um, and their booth was awesome. It was so cute. It was really cute. Um, yeah. I really can't even zero in on one thing I love the most because it was just Even just amazing. this cover is like... It looks like a notebook. I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Yeah, yeah thrift shop. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So... You should all just go buy it. Just buy it all. <laughs> buy it. Buy everything. Okay, so me, I know this is like, how many times could I repeat myself? Um, I swear the American Crafts people don't pay me. I really just love them. Um, because they make stuff that just, it fits. But the thing, mm -hmm. like we were talking about, like it actually fits both of us. Which I think, right. that's what American Crafts really just, somehow they've managed to make lines that everybody loves. And mm -hmm. I'm really impressed with that. Their catalog, look at this. That's so like, fun. are we going to read Tolstoy next? I mean, like, look at this thing. It's amazing. I mean, and then look at these photographs. I could look at this for days. It's just... We probably will. Look at too. this. Look at this ribbon. Look at that. Yeah, the Beautiful. ribbon in some of these collections. Oh my goodness. The Fantastic. Dear Lizzie ribbon with the blossoms. I'm going to wear it in my hair. Yeah. I'm not going to put it on. I'm not going to put it on anything. Look at this. Thickers. I mean, in the fonts. I, it's just... So cool, so cool. So that's our that's our four favorite um, yeah. catalogs. We have so so many more and so many other brands that we love, but those just yeah. are some that we were most they excited kind of stuck about. out with the catalogs. I mean, the, 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 we're not even talking product here. We're just talking that's right, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, okay, so next we we went to some classes. Yeah, yeah. We got to go really to cool. trade show classes while we were there. Um, so <laughs> I went to the Hero Arts class and I got some cool stuff. Um, I was gonna bring a card, but. When you make cards in classes like that, sometimes they just don't turn out that yeah. great because yeah. you're trying to go fast. You guys aren't seeing my book either, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got this awesome lace background. I think it's just beautiful. But um, Jennifer McGuire was there teaching, so it was so really cool, cool to meet her and just see um, kind of how she works. For it. That's and I took the Claudine Helmuth class, which was so out of my element in such a great way. Because um, I've never done mini book. That's the first mini book I've ever made. A, a painting, all this stuff. It's going to take both of us to lift this sucker up. Look at this product. I mean, her paints, everything. She must have shown us 15 techniques. Actually, if you go to Tiff Johnson's blog, it's I Heart Art. Just Google I Heart Art. Uh, Tiff Johnson, um, and look for her blog, Tiffany Johnson, um, and she actually talked about all the different techniques, but I mean, look at these colors, and this paint, I will tell you, I was at another booth, not to be named, um, and I was using some of their paint, there's a difference, and I am not someone who knows paint, so I'm just someone who's really just a, a random consumer of paint, because I'm not usually a painter, and it, there, really, I, there really is, I mean, and she had us using Perfect Pearls. I mean, look at this color. It's that's this is really close to the the Pantone color of the year. Um, I mean, just just amazing stuff that she had us doing. Tim Holtz mask, Hero Art stamps, Hamley rub ons. I mean, it doesn't end in this bag. Yeah. So um, if you're into paints, or if you want to be like one of my favorite techniques was mixing the paint with some water, like on a craft mat. And putting it over pattern paper totally changes mm -hmm. the look. For me, like sometimes you know how you get like the pack and there's one where you're like, mm, I don't like that one. Well, do like a teal wash over it. Now all of a sudden it works with your project and you're not wasting paper. It's so. really cool too. Yeah, really, really Very cool. Very cool. So that's that from the classes.